How's that for an intro? Anyway, I'm not going to bother editing. I uh, got some records. Got a soundtrack. So Discharged by the Boredoms from 1989, second album. Found this last week and fell in love with it, I swear. It's like it's, it's, like it's 1994 again, and I'm back in 10th grade listening to this crazy shit. Obsessed with them then, even more obsessed with this band now. You're not familiar with the Boredoms? I did a whole video on them. So go check out the archives. Um, second thing before the records. Shout out to TR Love, aka Trevor Randolph, from uh, Ultra Magnetic MCs. We had a beautiful conversation yesterday about music. And, um, I really dug that, so thank you, homeboy. Much love. Peace. And now... First House by Arthur Doyle. This is, uh... This, it's from 2012. Part of Live at the Stone. This is his last recording and last performance before he passed, unfortunately. But it came out in 2016. <clears throat> White vinyl. Anybody not familiar with Arthur? Excuse me. Um, yeah, his music. He's he's a uh, saxophonist, flute player, and vocalist. Very lo-fi, very folky, if you will. African folky, if you will. Um, Noisy and beautiful, and I really dig it, and so should you. So yeah, a um, little background, a little bio on, 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 on Arthur Doyle. He's done stuff with Noah Howard, he's done stuff with Milford Graves, uh, he's done stuff with Rudolph Gray, if you will. It's just a reference. Someone you should know, he's one of my heroes, and I hope you dig it. <laughs> Next up. Producer Kenneth Gibson, aka Eight Frozen Modules. This is from 2002. This is called Thought Process Disorder, Delusional Malfunction. It's glitchy. It's good. He started off making minimal techno. This is a little more all over the place. It's still electronic music, though. It's really beautiful. I really, really dig his uh, manifestations and his output. And it's on black vinyl. So yeah, check out some eight frozen modules, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So good, seriously. All right. This next song, though, it's over. I don't want to start talking about the next record because just watch some tough shit. Their changes are just crazy. Seriously, I'm in awe of this band. All right, whatever. Crippinino, no pussy putting from 1973. Anybody not familiar with this? Oh boy, you're missing out. Brian Eno on effects and tape loops. Robert Fripp on guitar and Frippatronics. 
taking some beautiful instrumental non-vocal mishmash um yeah two songs heavenly music corporation and swash sticker girls just incredible check that out yeah anybody not familiar with brian eno anybody not familiar with um robert fripp anybody not familiar with the white lines of coke right there <laughs> yeah some classic shit right here definitely dig this um really good mood music what became to, to be known as ambient music and whatnot very good mood music very good relaxation very repetitive just amazing not enough good things i can say about this record so don't sleep Frippinino, Evening Star, 1975, the follow-up to No Pussyfootin'. There's the two on the back, check them out. It's on black. And this is, um, there's four songs on the first side and one song on the second side. So they switch it up a little bit as opposed to the one song each side thing, for the more or less. The first side though, Wind on Water, Evening Star, Evening Song, Wind on Wind. Side two, Index and Metal, uh, Index of Metals. Seriously, just, just, um, they were on to something. They were also on something, which is a good thing. So yeah, um, I mean, the front cover says it all. This is where you're going when you put this shit on. You know. Just like, this is where you're going when you put this shit on. <laughs> oh. And the last record. Music for Films, Brian Eno, 1978. Instrumental... It is exactly what it says. It's music for films. Instrumental, rhythmic, um, music that can take you somewhere without words. It takes you places because it moves and it has feelings and you have ears and you should listen. But yeah, um, nine songs on each side, just phenomenal. Some of Eno's best work. Um, not enough good things I can say about this video. I mean, duh. Not enough good things I can say about this album other than get to it and listen. Stop sleeping. Anyway, gotta wrap this up. Peace to the rockers. Peace to the jazzers. Peace to the hip hoppers that don't like coppers. And I'm out. <laughs>